for them. Good Such good news. Right. God bless on those heroes. Okay. Um, Henry Winkler, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Nice round of applause. I'm for just Henry tweeting. Winkler. There's three of you over there. Would you please? Watch? Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Nice, <laughs> nice to be here. I, I never thought, seriously, that I would be standing. You know, I grew up watching Happy Days. Yeah, you grew up very nicely. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I have a, a crown that's leaking sewage, so don't smell my breath. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to get that. No, fixed. no, no. Please, let's get right into the interview because yeah. I'm now I'm excited. <laughs> All right. So. Um, First of all, leakage. You went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in Manhattan. I did. You went to Yale for drama school I did. and studied Shakespeare. I well, yes. I mean, I wasn't the greatest Shakespearean student. I know my limitations. Jimmy Norton uh, and his family that live right here in West, West Hartford, Hartford. Uh, he was great at it. Yeah. Now, now he has a great voice. You know. <coughs> the funny Cialis. thing is, you go on to become Arthur Fonzarelli. Probably more my speed. Well, but, but, but it wasn't supposed to be his show. No, it, it, it morphed into you took the role over and ran it with was, it. It was very exciting. It was seriously an, 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 an unbelievable run. Yes, I, I mean, 10 years. Do you think that Happy Days would work in today? You know, yes, today? You, you think it would. You know why? Because uh, kids come up to me now. It, it, what we do is we grab them at three. Right. I don't know why, but three-year-olds get the Fonz. Yeah, no, they get... And when they see it on the Hub or they see it on YouTube or whatever, the, in the same way they react to me today Isn't as it? they did in uh, 1974. You, you look much better than your photos online. I have is that to, true? Yes. I would have those retouched up. Okay. In person, you or are... Well, maybe I'll just have them removed. No, you're, you're a handsome man. And, Thank you. And, uh, all right, I also want to talk about the leather jacket because Irene brought it up. All early. my crowns are in place, let me just say. Are they leaking? <laughs> not one of this them. This one right here. Is that true? Yeah, it's not okay. true. It's terrible. All right, but leakage. <laughs> now, the leather jacket was a big controversy back in the studios. Yes, it was. For the first two, you had to be shown with the motorcycle yes. and the leather jacket. Did not, uh, did not wear the leather jacket, uh, wore a cloth jacket. You wore a green windbreaker. That's it. Well, yeah. it was puce. Pu what was it? Puce. Puce. And I now... I did not know there was a uh, color. The, puce. Yeah. And now it is in the Smithsonian. It, which is unbelievable to yeah. think about. It. You are a part of, I mean, you're always going to be a part of history with this role. Um, do, are you, do you have any regrets being that role? Not always one. being Not one. Not one. Isn't that something? That's good. It, it is uh, the way that I'm treated in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just honored by the Queen of England. Wow, we had our underwear on the show yesterday. You did? Yeah, eighteen thousand dollars it sold at, the, at on auction. She left a pair of underwear on her private plane, headed to Chile in 1968, and one of the guys on the plane took it, and he just sold it for eighteen thousand dollars. Oh my God! And she's having her jubilee. Jubilee underwear. I wonder if she's still fit in it. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Uh, but we'll but you know, my uh, right now I write uh, children's books with my partner Lynn Oliver. We've written twenty novels, which is for a, children, which is just great because yeah. you know I'm very proud. Of you that. should be very proud. We're very proud of you, and we're very, you. We, we appreciate everything you you've done for society. Thank you've you. made it a better place. Thank you. You know what I mean? Well, I'm going to look at your tooth right after the oh, interview. Thank God. All right, take a look at these people. These people were married 76 years yesterday. Oh my goodness! Is that yesterday. unbelievable? Yesterday, Bill and Barbara Stebbins. Bill and Barbara. Bill and Barbara Stebbins married 76 years. Do you know them? I don't know them, but I'm I'm tickled by them. Yeah, that's just amazing. So uh, we appreciate that. All right, and you want to do the weather with me? They, uh, sure. Come on over here. Because I know what I'm doing. Yep. We're just gonna stick you in front of that chroma key. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Now. Look at that. There's an 86 right yep, there. That was the temperature Sunday. Oh. Then it would dip down a little bit and it yeah. got to 80 yesterday. Okay, wait a minute. I'm in the way. No, no, no. Okay. This is uh, Matt McFarland. He's one of our reporters. He won a dance contest yesterday, so we want to congratulate him. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. Way wow. to go, Matt. Hey. All right, it's, an, it's another foggy start okay. this Thursday morning. Partly sunny with scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Pretty good, right? Get in a little bit close. Yeah, the early morning pinpoint Doppler dry. We're scanning dry. Now, if I have to, if I have to point to a city, I'm dead. Salisbury, do it. Salisbury, go for it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. As we take a look, look at that. That's fog. Oh wow! I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> the Connecticut River. You're in the river. Now you're at New London. And then uh, we're going to show you, we're just going to get right to the seven day because okay. we're kind of out of time here. All, All right. right. So uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible today.
tomorrow, more of the same, carbon copy of... When? Two, when will the shower about come About anywhere from 2 to 5. 2 to 5? 2 to 5, 2 to 6. Okay. And then Saturday is the best of the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. I need you to back up a little bit so we can see Monday. Thank you. 85 okay. degrees, and then Tuesday, a chance for some scattered shower activity and thunderstorms. But a very warm forecast. And Manhattan is going to be humid. Humid! Ladies and gentlemen, in August, I used to ride the subway. Yeah. You know, when I went to work before I went to Hollywood. The F. And be, yeah, before they had air conditioning yeah. and the doors would open and you would be hit with a blast of air. I know that. I know. I that would really yeah. get right to your tooth. Henry Winkler, ladies and gentlemen. Come, up, come over here. Come over here. Come over this way. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Because that's what time I'm getting my tooth fixed. Absolutely. Tooth hurting. I'm looking for. Thank you. Alessa, 